And hello, my name is Eric Michael. I'm a pre-sales systems engineer with Semantic Focus on our security products. Today, I'm going to demonstrate how to configure an application and device control policy that allows all USB keys to be set to read only. However, encrypted USB keys can be set to read write. A footnote uh, for the background of individuals listening to this or may, who may not have familiarity with encrypted USB keys, the way those work is the device manufacturer provides the key and it's got a small unencrypted partition on it. In that partition is an executable. You run that executable and enter your password and then that will give you access. It'll map in a, a second drive letter which then has access to the encrypted storage volume. Okay. So what we're looking at here, we have an endpoint protection manager and then we're remote desktop into a physical machine. See my previous video for information on how to log storage devices, or USB devices rather, and review those. We'll go quickly through this here. I'm going to the Endpoint Protection Manager. I'm in Monitors, Application Device Control, Device Control uh, for log content. I've limited down to just my test group. I'm going to go ahead and view this log. Okay. I'm then going to, going to hit Export here and save, and we're going to pull this into Excel. Now let me open that up here, and here we go. So what I'm going to do uh, is I'm going to expand this out, and I'm going to quickly show you what device we're looking for. So I purchased from Amazon an Iron Key 4 gig D80 encrypted USB key. All right, so I'm minimizing that. Now I've pulled my logs here into Excel. And what I'm going to do here is I'm going to go ahead and do a search for Iron Key. Okay? And I'm going to hit Find All here. All right? And so this found five different lines of data here referencing that device. Okay? So I'm looking at that here. And what I'm paying attention to is this USB store and then particularly this pound symbol that appears after it. I'm looking at that. All right? So I see that. Okay, that's got the pound symbol. Uh, this one uh, also has the pound symbol. Okay. This one, don't know what that is. It's not what I'm looking for. It's something else. It's a message. Okay, great. Um, now, this is what I'm looking for. You can see I've got the backslash in here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to copy everything from the USB store all the way over through the complete device name there. Okay, so iron key, key D80, control C. Go over to notepad here, control V. And we'll go back here. We'll look for our next one. Okay. And this one, you notice it references a CD-ROM. So remember, the encryption will map that second drive letter, and it does that uh, by doing it through a, kind of an unusual means here. So we'll grab that one as well. Put that in on our next line here. Okay. So cancel out of that. Hide Excel. Uh, and let's go back to our endpoint protection manager. Let's go to policies application device control, and let's go ahead and add an application device control policy. Now, first thing here, let's uh, give it a name. Uh, allow uh, read write encrypted uh, allow read only all. Okay. Now, I'm not going to go to the device control section here. I'm not working with that. I'm working with the application control this time. So we're, by default, the auto run, we're going to uncheck that. And I'm going to go up here to this one, make all removable drives read only AC3. I'm going to go to hit edit on this policy. All right. The settings here in this first section, these are all our defaults. We don't want to go and change any of these. You can see we've got uh, some processes here that, that are, are excluded. I'm going to go to this next tab down here. Okay. And I'm going to go in here. I'm going to take a look at this one. On that one, I don't need, so I'm going to go ahead and delete that out. Okay. This one, this second asterisk, I'm going to hit Edit on that, and it's going to say USB Store here. I do want that one. Okay, so let's leave that one as is. Now, I'm going to add in here, do not apply to the following files and folders. So let me hit Add. We're going to put the asterisk up here. Put a check in the box. Only match files on the following device ID type. Going back over to Notepad here. I'm grabbing the first device ID, control C, control V, and I'm going to put an asterisk after the end of that here. So 
very important we don't miss the asterisk. Okay. And we're going to add one more here. And as you can guess, it's the second line. Control C. Control V. Asterisk there. And asterisk up here. And OK. All right. I'm going to hit OK on the policy and then OK out of here. OK. No, I don't want to sign it this second. I'm going to go over to my Clients tab. Here's my test group. Here's my policies. Let's go, let's go change this to that new policy I just created. Allow read, write, encrypted. Allow read only all devices. OK, so that's the one I just created. Hit OK on that. All right, so that's the policy I've put in place. I'm now going to go over to my client here. We'll do a quick uh, troubleshooting and I'll refresh on our uh, Update policy here. Okay, and there you saw our last connected just changed. Excellent. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to plug in two keys here. The first key, this is a standard unencrypted USB key. So I've plugged that in, and I should be able to go over to Windows Explorer here. And there we have our removal device. Now if I take my test document here, copy, paste, it is blocked, okay? I can't get to it, I can't save it there, okay? I can, however, let me go in a directory here so I can find some, there's a file, copy, paste. Okay, so you can see that USB key is made read only, all right? I'm now going to go ahead and unplug that device. We saw it disappear there. I'm now plugging in the iron key device. And we're going to go back into Windows Explorer here, and there's my iron key. Let me double click the iron key.exe. And I messed up. I knew better than that. I need to run that as an administrator. Yes. And we're going to hit unlock. Type in our super secret password. Unlock. Device is now unlocked, hit OK, and you can see there's that second drive letter. So I can take a document, copy, I can paste that to the iron key and it saves it there. I can also take a document off of there, copy, and paste that back to my desktop. There we go, copy both files. So there's our demonstration of how to set an encrypted USB key to read-write and make all other USB keys read only. Thank you for your time. Have a great day.